After three and a half weeks of travelling, we have finally reached the Amalfi Coast, one of the most beautiful places on earth. Welcome back to another Europe Chronicle. Today we are heading from Roma to Salerno via the bullet train and then getting a private transfer from Salerno to Amalfi where we will be spending the next Hello, five days. Mona, I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. This is bedroom number one where Ty and Bella are going to be staying. Bathroom number one. Bathroom number two. This is our living room and kitchen. Nick and I will be staying up there. We have a balcony. Another one. This is exactly what happened to us. Travel days are so chaotic, so you barely get time to eat. So as soon as we could, we headed down from our accommodation and got some pizza before finally reuniting with some salt water. I look for the things I don't know. Okay, so we have been looking for ages for so long. Looking around, we thought the boys had died. Like, <laughs> they had drowned or something like that. We could not see them anywhere. And then we just look. And there is a little rock over there and two boys, I don't know if you can see it, just over there and there, uh, there they are. Love it. We had spent most of the trip talking about how excited we were to finally spend days by the ocean and just relax. Most of our days in the cities are filled with walking and sightseeing, so our time in Amalfi really felt like a reset. And of course, every day after the beach, we headed to a gelateria to buy a gelato a limone, which is traditional to the Campania region. But my favourite was definitely the granita. After having a siesta, we walked around Amalfi looking for somewhere to eat. I would definitely recommend booking in places to eat because there's not a massive variety of restaurants. One of my favourite post-dinner rituals was going for a walk along the marina, admiring Amalfi by night. We woke up bright and early this day to get a water taxi from Amalfi to Capri. We had organised a private boat to tour us around Capri, but unfortunately due to the winds we were unable to go. But of course, we weren't going to let a good day go to waste. So after lunch, we packed up our things and headed to Lido de la Serena, a beautiful little cove on the edge of the town Amalfi. This felt like it was out of a movie and it really lived up to its name, which translated to Siren Shore. We continued our quest on trying to find restaurants that were not booked up and stumbled across this restaurant right against the water. Unfortunately though, it was so incredibly windy but the food was amazing. It's hard to choose a day that was my favourite out of this whole trip but this is definitely one of them. We decided to not spend as much money on accommodation and instead hire a private boat for the day, really getting to enjoy the entire Amalfi Coast. After spending the morning going as far as Capri, we headed back to Positano for an hour and a half on land, exploring the iconic town. Thank you. 
After an hour and a half had quickly passed, our captain picked us up and took us to La Gavitella, which is one of the best views I've ever seen in my entire life. We were in disbelief the entire time and the food, although expensive, was so incredibly worth it. It was a bittersweet feeling heading back to the boat and saying goodbye to the incredible view but we spent the rest of the afternoon exploring different coves, stopping for a swim wherever we wanted to and being able to swim without fearing that a shark was going to come get you. After we started struggling with a little bit of motion sickness, we headed back home for a siesta and then headed out for dinner at a not so great restaurant. One of my favourite things about booking a boat tour and still having days left is the fact that throughout the day you can look at beaches that you love and choose which one you want to spend a day at. And for us, that was Lido di Rovello, one of the most beautiful beaches along the Amalfi Coast. There is a life I lead in this city, hurrying to cup my tea. I can take what I need to get by We decided to splurge a little bit and rent day beds at the beach club Although it is roughly 40 euros for two people It's definitely worth it in exchange for comfort When I return from the afterglow This is living Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but we stayed for as long as we could until we saw them starting to pack up and then headed back home and decided to go out for the night and see what the clubbing life in Amalfi was like. And of course, in typical fashion, girls' night turned into boys' night and although the boys couldn't speak Italian, they ended up making lots and lots of friends and having a great night. Feeling slightly hungover, our driver picked us up to head from Amalfi to Napoli. After thankfully surviving Southern Italy drivers, we checked into our Airbnb in Napoli which had one of the most amazing views, we were so pleasantly surprised, and quickly got ready to get a taxi to head to Pompeii. I visited Pompeii before, but the tour we booked was incredible. Booking in the afternoon definitely wasn't the best decision because it was such a hot day, but we still spent so much time touring the ruins. When the heat had finally gotten too much for us to handle, we stopped at this little kiosk getting slushies and then headed back to Napoli for our final dinner together. Napoli, so. 
This is what it's ended up looking like. This is half a pizza. I woke up this morning feeling very emotionally weird. Our four weeks together had finally come to an end. Ty and Bella were heading to Greece. Nick and I were starting our week solo together. And of course, I had so many different emotions about that. But it was nice just to spend time dedicated to grounding myself and sitting in all of my feelings. But it was finally time to say goodbye Bye. and tears may have been shed. I'll see you in Ischia.